hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make this simple off shoulder bustier top so it's an off shoulder top with a band sleeve that is the upper part does not have any elastic and it's slightly padded so i'm going to show you guys how to take your correct off shoulder measurements to make a top like this so it's a very detailed tutorial and very beginner friendly don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so we're starting with the front panel i'll be working on our pattern paper for more clarity and accuracy of measurements so i have my pattern paper here and it's in a fold of two so i folded my pattern paper using the widest circumference of my body which is my hip measurements divided by four 11.5 inches and i added extra three inches to it for the dart and seam allowance so i have about 14.5 inches here on fold and i've also gone ahead to mark my basic vertical measurements as you can see so i'm going to show you guys how i came about these um lines so the first line there is the shoulder line that is the shoulder line and from my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches 10 inches as you can see and then to my under bust is 13.5 inches and then to the waist measurement is 16 inches and the full length of my top is 20 inches which i have here so i'll just go ahead and label the lines now for you guys to see So after labeling the first thing you want to do is to mark your shoulder to shoulder measurement on the shoulder line so because my paper is in a fold of two i'm going to divide my shoulder to shoulder measurement by two so i'm going to have eight inches for me so i'll mark eight inches from the close angle of the paper and then from that point i'll come down by my round armhole measurements divided by two which is nine inches for me and then i'll connect the lines together So after connecting the lines, I'm going to further extend the line this way towards the open angle of the paper. So the next thing to do now is to place the shoulder slope. So I'll come down by one inch from the shoulder line and then form a slant to meet the line this way. So marking so the shoulder slope is not really important, but we're needing it for the armhole curve. So I'll come over to this point and take the midpoint, which is four inches, and then I'll come in by half an inch. And then on this new line I just drew, I'll mark my round bust measurements divided by 4, which is 10.5 inches for me. So I'll take my curve ruler now and connect the three points together to form my armhole curve. So after connecting this, this is what we have. So the next thing you want to do is to determine where you want your off shoulder to start so i'll be coming down by five inches from the shoulder line so i'll come down by five inches so this point is going to be my neckline so i'm going to just extend the line this way so i'm going to just cross out this um upper part because we won't be needing it anymore we're going to start from this five inches mark because it's an off shoulder top so i'll just cross it out and cut it out so the next thing to do now is to place our dart on the line so your dart is your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two so for me i have four inches but i'll be marking four and a half inches because of joining as my joining allowance so i'll mark four and a half inches on all the lines on the waistline, the under bust line, the bust line, and the new um, shoulder line. So after marking, I'll take my ruler and connect all the points together. So I'll use my ruler to connect all the points together. So this is what we have after connecting. So I'll just go ahead to cut out the upper part so that it won't confuse you guys. Because we won't be needing it. So this is all we'll be working with. And then I'll extend the dart line down to the full length of my top. So I'll extend it this way. So the next thing to do now is to place um, the dart measurement. So on the under bust line, I'm going to take 1.5 inches on both sides of the line. On the under bust line. And then on the full length of my on top i'm going to take one inch on both sides 
and then i'll take my ruler and connect the points to each other just as you can see me doing in the video so if you are on the small size you can take one inch on both sides of the under bust line and half an inch on the um, full length of your dress or top but if you are on the um, big side you can take one and a half inch on both sides of the under bust line and one inch on the full length and then on this bust line i'm going to come down by 0 0.5 inches so this is going to avoid any pointy effect on the bust point and then i'll take my curved ruler and connect it this way forming a curve So I'll go over now to the neckline of this off shoulder top and I'll take one inch on both sides of the line. So if you're on the small size as well, you can take 0 0.5 inches on both sides. And then on the bust line, I'll come up again by 0 0.5 inches. And then use my curved ruler to curve it to meet the upper dart this way. So I'll curve it out this way and then I'll do the same thing for the other side. So after forming the dart, this is what it looks like. So right now, I want to show you guys how to calculate your round off shoulder measurements. So remember notice that for this particular top, we won't be making use of elastic band for the um, off shoulder, the upper part of the off shoulder. So to get your off shoulder measurement, go ahead to take your round off shoulder measurement, as you can see in the picture on the video. So for this particular one, I got 46 inches for my round off shoulder measurement. So the first thing you are going to do is to get your armpit to armpit measurement your pit to pit measurement which is like your chest me measurement so for me i got 13 inches so i'm going to be using 13 inches for my front pit to pit measurement and my back pit to pit measurement you can see the image on the video so i have 46 inches for my round off shoulder measurement so i'm going to subtract the 13 inches in two places which is 26 inches so i have 20 inches left so that's 20 inches left now is going to be shared among my sleeve like the two parts of my sleeve i'm going to share 10 10 inches to form my round off shoulder measurement i hope you guys understand what i just explained so if you don't understand you can go ahead to watch the video again i'm sure you're going to get it so 46 inches minus 26 inches now I'm going to be left with 20 inches. So I'm, going to, so I'm going to use 13 inches for the front pit to pit measurement and 13 inches for the back pit to pit measurement. So since it's in a fold of two, I'm going to mark 6.5 inches for the front part. So from the dart point, I took what I have there and I have 3.5 inches there. And then after the dart, I'm going to mark the remaining 3 inches to make my um, 6.5 inches. So I'll mark my 3 inches there. I'll mark the three inches after the dart now. And then I'll measure whatever excess I have here and place it on the chest line, just as you can see me doing, to form a new armhole curve so that it won't truncate my armhole size. So I'll take my curved ruler now and connect the points together this way. So this is the new armhole we'll be working with. I'll go ahead to just cross out the older one. So by the time we measure what we have before the dart and after the dart, it's going to be exactly 6.5 inches. So when I'm cutting on my fabric, I'll add a little bit of allowance to the armhole area for joining the sleeve. So we have 6.5 inches here on fold. So by the time we open up and join the dart, we're going to have 13 inches for the front pit to pit measurement. So next thing to do now is to place the bust measurement. So on the bust line, I'll place my round bust measurement divided by 4 plus seam allowance. And on the waist line, I'll place my round bust measurement divided by 4. I'll add 2 inches for that and my seam allowance. And then on the full length, I'll place my round hip measurements divided by 4. I'll add my dart measurement and my seam allowance. So I have 14.5 um, inches exactly. So I'll take my ruler now and just connect the points together. I'll connect this way so i'll blend in the waistline so that it won't be too sharp and then i'll go ahead to cut out the pattern so i'll just go ahead now to cut it out and then i'll open up the dart point this way
So after cutting out, this is what we have. So for the center front, we'll be having a bit of sweetheart neckline. So if I open it up, I'm going to just come down by one inch. So depending on how deep you want your sweetheart neckline, you can take two inches, three inches. But because I don't want it to be too open, I'm going to take 1.5 inches. And then I'll use my ruler to just connect the points together. Connect it this way from the center front and then I'll cut it out. So after opening up, this is what it looks like. So I'll go ahead now to cut out the back panel. So for the back panel, I have my pattern paper in a fold of two already. And I've gone ahead to take my basic vertical measurements like I did for the front panel. And then I came in by one inch from the closed angle. This is going to be my zipper allowance. So just like I did for the front panel, the first line is the shoulder line, the next is the bust line, the third one is the waistline and then the full length of the top. So I went ahead to place my shoulder to shoulder measurement divided by 2 which is 8 inches as you can see. And then I came down by 1 inch for my shoulder scope. So remember to take all these measurements from the zipper allowance so that it won't interfere with your measurement. And then I took my round armhole measurement and formed my armhole curve. So the next thing to do is to place our off shoulder um point the point you want your top to start so i'll come down by five inches just like i did for the front panel i'll take five inches from the shoulder line this way and then i'll roll out the straight line and cut out the excess um paper i have there so i cut out the extra this is what it looks like so the next thing to do now is to place the dart so starting from the zipper line i'm going to take my nipple to nipple measurements divided by two which is four inches and added half an inch for joining and then i'll place that same 4.5 inches on the bust line and then on the full length of my top so i'll take my ruler and connect the points together i'll connect it down to meet the um, bust line this way And then I'll come over to the full length of my top and take 1 inch on both sides. So you can make use of 0 0.5 inches if you are on the small size. And then from the bust point, I'll come down by 0 0.5 inches. And then I take my ruler to form a slant, a slanted line down to meet that point as you can see me doing in the video. So after doing that, the next thing is to place the round body measurement. So on the bust line, I'll place my round bust measurement divided by 4 plus seam allowance. So make sure you are placing the measurements before the zipper allowance, not after the zipper allowance. So on my waist line, I put my round waist measurement divided by 4 and I added it that same thing on my hip line. So I'll go ahead to connect all the points together. I'll connect the points together this way. So after doing that, this is what it looks like. So before we go ahead to cut it out, I'm going to come over to the waistline and just come in by 0 0.5 inches on the zipper allowance. This to avoid this is to avoid any zipper bulging at the back. And then I'll take my ruler and just connect it this way. Just follow what you see me doing in the video. I'll connect it this way just to give it a kind of slant at the center back to avoid the zipper area from bulging. So I would um, cut out this shaded part. I'll cut it out. So for the neckline, remember we used 13 inches for the front pit to pit measurement. So for the back as well, we use the same 13 inches. So I'll go ahead to just mark 13 inches divided by 2, which is 6.5 inches on the neckline this way. And then I'll just connect these points down to meet the armhole area, forming the new armhole curve. So this is the part that will be used as the armhole curve now. I'll go ahead to cross the other side out. So for the neckline, I'm going to just come down by one inch at the back so that it won't be looking too straight. So I'll take one inch and then use my ruler to connect it, forming a slant this way. So that is basically all for the back part. Then I'll go ahead to cut it out now. So I'll be starting from the zipper area. I'll take out the zipper bulge and then I'll cut the remaining side. And then I'll open up one side of the dart point and then close it up to cut on my fabric so that I won't need to be taking any dart in on my fabric. I'll close it up this way when I'm cutting on my fabric. So after cutting out the front and the back panel, this is what it looks like. So I went ahead to extend my dart to the upper part of my 
back panel and i close it up with my pin so when i'm cutting on my fabric i won't have to sew in any that for the back panel so i'll use this to cut up my fabric and then i'll show you guys the next things to do